also tonight. The MTS Center has been taking care of business for eight years now. A look at how it's changed downtown Winnipeg. The MTS Center is celebrating its eighth anniversary tonight. Why it's more than just a concert venue. Eight years ago today, the face of downtown Winnipeg changed. MTS Center opened its doors for the very first time. Since then, many of music's biggest names have taken the stage, and it helped pave the way for the return of the Jets. CTV's John Hendricks joins us now from MTS Center. Yeah, John, how are they celebrating there tonight? In the best way possible, Gord, with music, and not just anyone. The legendary, the iconic Neil Young, set to take the stage in just over an hour, along with his opening acts, of course. You know, he takes the stage at a venue that was at one time roundly criticized, now beloved by many. Shaking all over. Randy Bachman was the first to shake up the MTS Center, nearly a decade later, and it's still rocking. The downtown venue is celebrating its eighth anniversary, eight years of music, events, and of course, the return of the Jets. It's been eight years of surprises, among the biggest... That it worked, you know, really that, that, that it worked and that it continues to, to have, have a life of its own. And people talk about it that have never been to the market. The tours come to it going, oh, yeah, we, we've heard about this building. We're happy to finally get here. People are happy now, but it wasn't always that way. Built for $135 million, the MTS Center occupies the site of the former Eaton's building, an iconic structure some fought bitterly to save. Taking away this building will not do. But they did, and the city hasn't looked back since. MTS Center is consistently ranked as one of the busiest venues in North America. And according to musician Joey Penner, who performed here during the Junos in 2005, it's also one of the best venues. Even if you're sitting in the very back, like nosebleeds in the 300 level, like you can still pick out every guitar note. It's, it's pretty incredible. Almost as incredible as the impact it's had on downtown Winnipeg, according to the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce. A lot of the things that are going on in this community now, when you've got the Human Rights Museum, you've got the Assiniboine Park Zoo, you've got IKEA coming to Winnipeg. The MTS Centre was one of the integral first building blocks uh, that created that momentum for us. A momentum officials hope to build on in the next eight years to come. Kevin Donnelly says they aren't just sitting on their laurels. They have made and continue to make cosmetic changes to this venue. Uh, for example, there's a lot less exposed concrete now, and uh, you can expect a lot more changes to come in the future. All right, John, we've had so many big acts here over the past eight years. Any idea who might be on tap next? You know, I asked Kevin Donnelly that question, and he refused to spill the beans, no matter how much I begged him. So I guess we'll all just have to wait and see. All right, keep on them for now. We have Neil Young. <laughs> Thanks, John. CTV's John Hendricks reporting tonight.